Hey, what's up guys? I wasn't really finding a video on this, so I figured I'd make one up for you as I'm going along. In case anybody else out there uh, has the same problem. Uh, this is for uh, P047A code that I was getting on my car. Uh, this is a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta uh, TDI. Um, that's the exhaust exhaust, sorry, exhaust pressure sensor, uh, B circuit. Um, so I did a little bit of research and found out that the culprit for my car, at least is, well, it'd be great if, there you go. Is this little guy right here. Um, from the dealer, it was about $125, but I have seen some others online and Amazon. Uh, for cheaper, um, not really sure the quality of those, so I decided to go with uh, with the factory part. Um, if you guys have never really delved into uh, a TDI before, uh, first you got to remove the cover, and uh, these are just pressure points here. All right. And now you can see uh, top of the motor. And uh, the issue or the pressure sensor is actually back here. You want to uh, unsnap these points here. And that will give you uh, your pressure sensor there. It's right behind there. Um, that's going to have two hoses attached to it. And uh, you got an electric connection over to the left side. And uh, over here on this side, you'll see, um, is a uh, star key, uh, I believe. Uh, let me get you the size on that. So I actually don't have anything large enough as far as a socket goes um, to do this. But uh, it is a, uh, as you can see here on this lovely Harbor Freight, uh, that is a T40. Uh, so I'm going to use this to unscrew. That's horribly blurry. Um, to unscrew this position over here. Um, you'll also see too that there's like a little metal clip attachment over here that once you unbolt it, uh, is going to undo it. And then there's an electrical connector over here. Um, that one's a little tricky and obviously you don't want to break this. So uh, I'll give you some tips on how to get that out. Um, first you want to remove this over here though. So give me one moment and I will pop that out. All right, so now you can see I removed that bolt. And then down here, Okay, so down here, there are two hoses that need to be detached. And you can see on this part here, uh, what we're detaching. And eventually the clip over here. So I'm gonna put that aside. And we're gonna pull this out. Unfortunately, I uh, can't show you exactly how I get this out because I don't have a way to hold the camera and use both my hands. So we'll go do that. All right, so I stole my wife's compact because I don't have another mirror available, but uh, I'm sure she's gonna be thrilled. Um, you can see back here on the backside, looking at that clip, there is a clip um, on the, uh, the driver's side or your right side um, that needs to be removed. And it looks like the other hose actually doesn't have a clip at all, interesting enough. It must just be enough for the pressure um, so I'm going to look into that a little bit more. Um, and when we come back, that'll be off. Okay, so it turns out that there is another bolt uh, off of this metal bracket that's a little bit lower down. Um, and you can see it in that mirror there uh, where that's at. It's actually much lower down back there behind the sensor. So it's a, like a bracket. Um, not sure if you can see the bracket itself down in there. 
kind of comes off of that post to the left hand side uh, just behind the oil filler um, I'm gonna remove that and uh, that'll probably afford uh, being able to take off that hose clamp a little bit easier okay so I just removed that bolt from the back side of the bracket uh, behind the oil filler cap um, down low back here um, and that was a T30 size Okay, uh, at this point in time, it's probably easiest just to get rid of this uh, metal bracket here, uh, which actually we just unbolted. And uh, that should just come up and out of there. You can see the bracket. Get that up and out of the way. And that kind of frees this up a little bit more. You can see the, uh, the hose clamp, which <laughs> uh, in all their wisdom, uh, we need to get that out from the backside. So that's where the uh, we're going to have to pinch that hose clamp and take that off. And you can see the uh, hose to the left that does not have a clamp at all. Okay, so I found in order to get to the clip uh, in the back, it's uh, a little bit easier to uh, use a small, very, very tiny flathead screwdriver uh, or something to that extent. Uh, make sure that your hoses aren't brittle or dried um, and uh, work that left hose off so you can gain access. Like you can see from here, you probably can't, but uh, so you can get access to that clip. Uh, we just pushed too hard up against the other hose. I couldn't get a wrench over it. Uh, so I'm about to, or sorry, pliers. Uh, about to pull that off now. Okay, well, there was uh, a lot of wrestling with the, uh, the uh, hoses to get those off since uh, they've been on there for a while. The car's got over 100,000 miles on it, so uh, they didn't really want to give up the ghost too easily. Um, you can see over here that the uh, sensor is removed. Um, and you'll see the sensor from the back side. So now we got to figure out how this clip is attached. And uh, then we're going to want to uh, disconnect it properly without breaking the, uh, the uh, harness. And, uh, and then we'll start getting the new one set up. Well, exactly what I didn't want to happen, happened. Uh, <laughs> broke uh, the clip out from the inside of this here. Uh, it's very fragile and you can see where it broke. Um, good news is, is that once I put the new socket in, I can slide that piece in and it'll still retain uh, the uh, electrical connection. So all is not lost on this, um, but it could have been worse. Um, so again, just be careful when you're doing it. Um, so basically the piece pushes down here and releases on it and uh, they're connected pretty pretty good since they've been on there for, you know, 100,000 miles. So, let's watch out. <laughs> Don't do what I did. From here, I'm just gonna put everything back together in the reverse order. So, put the sensor back together, reconnect it to the hoses, uh, put the, uh, the bracket back on, bolt everything back together, um, you know, make sure the buttons are snapped on the uh, heat wrap and uh, put the cover back on. Um, so pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one thing to note though, I uh, was talking to a mechanic prior to doing this and he said uh, you want to make sure that uh, these hoses uh, aren't cracked and brittle. So you want to try to examine them the best you can because uh, those in themselves uh, can cause the same code. So you might be able to save yourself some money. Uh, by checking them out and just making sure that they're not broken. So that's it for now. I'm going to put this back together. I'm sure you guys don't need to see that. Um, hopefully this helps somebody out. And uh, if you have any comments uh, or a uh, better way to do it, <laughs> definitely let me know. Have a good one.